Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another JM Ventures. Today, we're at the cruise port in Long Beach. San Pedro. I think it's San Pedro. And behind us, well, actually hiding behind this building is our cruise ship. Yes, we are finally going on a cruise. Today, we are boarding the Navigator of the Seas. And we're going to have a good time and we'd like to bring you. So thanks for liking, putting a comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Let's go and do this. All righty, we just dropped off our bags. Something I didn't realize is, or something I just learned today, is if you forgot your tickets, as in your luggage tags, um, you can actually go to someone at a desk here and they will actually manually write you one up before you give your bags to the porters. And then you just give your bags to the porters and off you get to go on vacation. All right, we can see a little bit more of the ship here. Something else I'm gonna add here is uh, due to the tropical storm Hillary that came through here yesterday, uh, cruising, boarding didn't actually start till 12.30, which is like four minutes from now. So it looks like they're just starting to let people in now because it is about 12.26. Typically they can start boarding around 10.30, but uh, like I said, due to that storm, we've all been pushed back. So hopefully this line doesn't take too long now. Now this looks like the regular terminal doors. I'm not quite sure why we're not going in there today. I have never sailed out of here, so I don't know if they're doing renovations or not, but way down there is a white tent with some generators running, and that's where we're going in today. All right, like I said, here are those generators. Now, I don't know if this is something they set up just because of the tropical storm or if this is always set up. All right, so they got us in this tent. I don't know if it's just to try to keep us out of the sun, but they put so many of us in here and it's rather warm. So if you're a claustrophobic person, just bring some water and a fan. I don't know. That works too. All right, I guess at the end of the tent here is where we show our set sail pass. And they do have some fans back here, but honestly, I'm like five people back and I can't even feel them. Don't put those passports away, folks. You gotta pull them out quite a bit. Got Jody pulling them back out again. So it does look like we, we do come in here in the end. Jody found some pepper, somebody wearing a pepper shirt. She thought it was pretty fun. We did the check-in. They took our photos again. Uh, apparently it's for clearing customs when we get off our facial recognition. And uh, now we're got told we could go board the ship, so let's do it. Looks like you can get some pre-cruise photos. But uh, we're going right on up. We have fasted for the whole day because we've been waiting for our Mexican lunch, which is going to be full of guacamole, chips, chips. beans, beef, maybe, que I wish, quesadilla, I don't know, for sure guacamole. Dun, 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 dun. It looks like we're going to scan onto the ship here. These lovely gentlemen over here. Hey, how are you doing? With this close to the boat? Actually, we're that way from the boat. Close enough. Close enough. The extra, the real vacation. The whole reason we came down here is about to happen. Yes, I'm already sweating hot. Can't wait for the pool, the water slides, the guacamole. The I don't have to make dinner. That's the best part.
and we are officially on vacation. I have no idea where anything is on this ship because this is our first time on the Navigator of the Seas. So I'm hungry and I gotta figure out how to do some of this stuff. So our master station is B11, which is in the middle of where everybody's coming on board. All you have to do is go to your station and find somebody in a green vest and they will just go over a couple things with you and then you're good to go and enjoy your cruise. Now you don't have to do it right away when you get on, but I think there is a time I forget which time, but you have to do it like pretty quick. So that's just the first thing I do, get it out of the way. And then I go and enjoy the trip. Now, if you pay for the key, looks like this is where you can come and have your warm welcome. I do believe you get a welcome lunch when you first get here. So that might be right where this is happening. We're going looking for lunch and we came out at the adult section and Jody's already excited. Yeah, and actually it's a bigger hot tub than I expected. Lunch has been found. I do like how the guacamole is over here. Jody is opening up our keys, which was found right here. Just like these guys. But we're here. Oh, me. It's you. All right, Jody, open the door. It's time to do oh, really? our room reveal, even though we've been in the room already once. But I'm going to show you it now because it's still clean and looks fancy, and I haven't unpacked anything. So let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. This is our inside stateroom. And an interior room with a view to the main promenade. Check it out. Oh, I can sit up here and people watch all day long. Except I do see a foosball table down there. And I think I gotta get in a competition and kick everybody's butt. Get a nice cushion. I mean, it's okay to sit on. It's like an extra. It's like it's like an extra seat. Got the another couch here. Got our bed. Nice king size bed. Oh yeah. And this fancy desk, which will be turned into an editing desk. A TV. Oh, what do we got down here? Whoop! Our fridge, which is empty. That's a problem. We need to fill that up. As you can see, I can't. Hello, everybody. And some plugins. Got a couple of plugins down there, so they'll be good for charging up things and running the computer. Looks like we got a few drawers here. Some shelving up there. And, oh, la di da da. Places to hang up all your fancy clothes. A safe, some shelving. Definitely going to be taking use of all this space. 
And apparently there's even space up here. You can store stuff. Maybe I'll put my shoes up there. Found the laundry service paper in here. Looks like you can have a regular service, return next day by 5.30, or same day service. Which means you hand it over to them before 11 and you get it back by 5.30. You just have to add 50% to these prices, but hey, if you really needed something clean, then you can get it done. And for the washroom review, watch your step. There is a steppy. Looks like they got a nice stand up shower. I have yet to try this out because we are literally just getting in here. So I'll have to tell you about it later. A toilet and a sink, some storage garbage. I actually quite like this. After you're done, slide it back in here and it doesn't slide all around the cabin like it did on our... <laughs> Jody's laughing because on our last Alert of the Seas, or was it the Disney Cruise? I forget. Maybe on our last Royal Caribbean, Alert of the Seas there. We, uh, they don't have those. At least in our room, they didn't. They didn't have those in our room, so our glasses of wine were sliding with the ship. Good times, good times. Yeah, so this is the room, and it's probably the cleanest you're going to see it. So we're going to go set up, put our clothes away, put some trunks on and maybe go for a dip or swim, but e, I'm gonna show all the fun activities on the top of the ship in another video. We had some fun up on the top deck and we're definitely gonna show you guys that later. And now we're all dressed up fancy. My nice new shirt. Yep, and it's got some American apparel on it so I fit right on in here. Anyway, so now we are going for our dining and unfortunately, because we only booked this a month ago, well, almost two months, I guess. Two months. two months ago. Because we booked this two months ago, we only got my time dining. So, kind of was hoping for an earlier dining. So I came down and asked the dining guy down here and he told us to come down around six, which it is now. We'll see if we can get in earlier. So let's go do this. So I'm still learning all these things. Every ship is different, and I haven't done my time dining before. So apparently, on the Navigator of the Seas, if you're doing my time dining, you gotta go to deck number three. We were on deck number five. Learn something new today. So we went and spoke with the guy at the desk. He says he should be able to get us in in a few minutes, so. That's awesome because when I went on the app, it said that I had to come back for 7.45. That's too late for us. So I like to let my food digest before I go to sleep. And I like to party in between eating and going to sleep. Yeah, that makes any sense. Okay, that was even faster than two minutes. Had to be like 60 seconds at most. Here we go in. This is the bottom floor of the three floor dining. Very different layout. We are seated. Thank you, thank you. And I already got one of the menus in hand. And uh, the menus have changed since we were here in January or on Royal Caribbean in January. That's when they were introducing a brand new menu. So we got to try out this brand new menu. Welcome aboard tonight. Chef's recommendations. Look at these starters, main courses. Oh, let's just go right to desserts. My soup has come. My tomato soup is what I chose from. Check this tomato thing out. This is as close as tomatoes as I will ever get. Jody, on the other hand, has some uh, shrimp cocktail. Shrimpy cocktail. Why don't you try some shrimp cocktail for us? Yep, pretty good. All right. And now for me to try some of this soup. It's like tomatoes, man. But it's good, it's decent. And it's hot. It's hot. Well, that is a plus. 
Check out my meal. This is my prime rib. Yes, I took the potato out of the shell and I made mashed potatoes the old fashioned way. Jody already demolished all her vegetables. She gets two desserts tonight now. <laughs> yes, this looks very good. Here we go for the prime rib. That was actually really good. It was hot and it was fatty. Good fat. Not the gristly fat stuff, but yeah, pretty good. And the mashed potatoes, I've already had some. I mean, my homemade mashed potatoes. Yep. And I better eat my vegetables because mom's watching. Well, come on, mom. I know you're watching. I don't want to get in trouble. Jody's dessert came out. Is that strawberries down there? Yes. And peanut butter. Yes. Oh my goodness. And I got some shocky, shocky pudding. There we go. We got the strawberry. Check it out. Here is the strawberry there. Let's try this out now. Strawberries and chocolate. Top notch. Jody can't have that, but looks like she has something very yummy too. Her peanut butter, peanut butter strawberry square thing a jingy. Jody, how is your dessert tasting? I love it. Yeah? Yes, it's something that my mom used to make me, the peanut butter square. Mom, I don't know if my mom ate these, but I'm glad it's making you feel. Happy? Yes, that's why we went on a cruise. To make me happy? Yep. Good. Happy wife, happy life. And that was dining. It, it's kind of hard to film in there, especially when they got all the tables like really close together. So I hope I was able to kind of show you guys what a little meal looks like. Like I said in other videos, if you have allergies, Royal Caribbean is really, really good at helping you get through all that. The head waiter comes over and she goes through everything and she even uh, comes to your table before you leave for the evening to see they can pick, uh, so you can pick the items what you want to eat for the next night. So yeah, you kind of get a sneak peek at the menu and, and she'll ask him for breakfast. Oh yeah, breakfast. And I'm like way too full right now. I'm like, I gotta think about breakfast now. Okay, so yeah, we are all set to go. Up. Uh, we're somewhere in the ocean and uh, just hanging out here. Good old times. Oh, way out there is the princess ship that was actually at the same port we were at. And they follow us out. Looks like we're hanging out together, at least for now. Anyways, friends, this is the end of our video. We're gonna go party somewhere, somehow, and you guys are going to click and watch another video of ours, I hope. And subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> yes, put a like, comment, Put a comment, put a like comment. Make sure to give a big thumbs up if you like this video. Put a comment in there. You guys have a cruise coming up. Do you want to go on a cruise? Would you come cruising with me? That's okay. You, you, do the cruise line? you don't have to come cruising with me. But yes, if you go cruising, let us know below who you like to cruise with. Um, as we get more and more into cruising, we definitely want to try more ships, more cruise lines. So yeah. So also, if you haven't subscribed, do so because we've got lots of videos we're gonna be filming a whole bunch of stuff on the cruise here and on our ports of call so there's gonna be a lot of adventures coming up other than that guys thanks for coming along and until next time bye